Wagwan, my name is Jermin and welcome to Picatune. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to sublimate a photo slate. Alright, so here you see me using a microfiber cloth with sprayed with alcohol to clean the surface, make sure to get rid of lint and grease. Because you want to make sure that it's clean and there is nothing preventing the transfer of the image from that um, printed paper to the slate because anywhere lint or dirt you might see that it end up with a white spot because sublimation was not done or, or took place in that area that was covered with that debris so here I am putting the slate on top of the image and then in a minute you'll see me applying some tape to secure the transfer to the slate and this is heat tape mind you so throughout this process it is generally required that you use some form of heating pad or heating silicone or stuff like that however in this process I did not use any of those it was just the slate with butcher paper as they call it or copy paper just something to prevent sublimation ink from transferring to your heat press so here you see me putting down that butcher paper then I'm putting the slate down facing up basically the transfer is on top facing the heat platen so I'm adjusting the the pressure of the press and I'm using a calm shell press by the way it is generally recommended that you use a swing away press to get even distribution of pressure but a calm shell press is what I have so that is what I'm using throughout this process you want to press this for 400 degrees for like about six minutes if you find this information to be useful please consider to subscribe leave your questions in the comments like this video share it with a friend and keep watching for more videos so here you see me removing the butcher paper removing the transfer from the top of the slate you want to make sure that you use a heat resistive re heat resistant gloves because this is very very hot remember this is pressed at 400 degrees so as you can see the slate came out very beautiful rich in color vibrant and i only use a calm shell heat press and butcher paper to put on the bottom of the, the press and one on top to protect the heat platen so thanks for watching guys see you in the next video